Yeah, hello. Today I want to show you how to make a house number sign with the router. So just some like something you see here. So I start out with just some uh, old piece of wood. I'm taking this 2x4 that I have sitting around. And then I uh, took, went to the computer and I printed out the house number that I want to uh, make a sign out of. So I took this piece of paper that I printed it on and now I'm going to outline here with a sharp, uh, here, I'm using this screwdriver here to outline the uh, number or the numbers and I'm going to put some pressure on it so that the outline is visible on the wood just like you see here, like it's barely visible and because it's barely visible I'm going to use here a pencil and I'm going to outline this again so now it's much better visible and we're going to use the router here and now I'm going to look here for the correct uh, router bit that I can use I have here this uh, quarter inch cove bit that seems to be the right size it's not too big so I can uh, have some wiggle room here and I'm going to router so I'm going to install this here to my into my plunge router and then I'm going to set the depth and decided I'm going to go like f about 5 sixteenths of an inch deep. Yeah, okay. And so once this is all set, then it's already time to fasten here the piece of wood on my table so that I can now use this punch router to put the numbers in. I'm just going to follow the lines that I did put on before. And then here in this case, I have here this pretty small bit. So and, uh, since I want to go down here by 5 sixteenths of an inch, the bit is a little bit too small in order to go down all the way at once. So I have to uh, do this by going for two passes. So I'm going just a little bit down into the wood in the first pass. And then on the second pass, I go down all the way as deep as I want it. This takes a little bit longer, too, because you have to do the two passes. Uh, but, uh, okay, so I'm speeding this up here, and this is how this ends up looking. And then I'm going to take some uh, sandpaper, and I'm going to smoothen out the edges here. And make it look a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to use here yeah, this wood finish. And I put this on to the entire piece of wood, except for where those numbers are, so that the, you can see this in a second how this looks like. So when you don't put the finish on into the numbers, then those are going to stick out quite a bit. So those are way easier to read from a distance. Yeah, so this is how this looks like for now, and I'm going to let this dry overnight and now just uh, you see still the numbers here those are still untreated so I want to put some uh, polyurethane onto that I have here this old rag and I'm going to go into all the nooks and crannies here of the numbers just to make sure that the uh, polyurethane is going in everywhere so that it's uh, protected and as soon as I'm done with that then I'm just going to go over all of the rest for the of the uh, piece of wood just to make it look even and then I'm going to let this dry overnight again and if you want to you can like put on a second coat And then this is already done and uh, you have to make sure if you use here this rag with the polyurethane you have to remember that the uh, rag may be compostable so you have to make sure not to just leave the rag sitting around because it just might catch fire and uh, that's not good so it's best to uh, put the rag into like, some kind of container so that it's safe and then in the end this is how this looks like so this was pretty easy and this is fast and done and it doesn't look too bad don't you think so uh, yeah so uh, if you have any questions and leave a 
comment below and uh, don't forget to check out my other routering videos here in the uh, playlist up here. Mm -hmm.